hey, if you need a tachometer installed in an older vehicle, don't pay somebody to do it. Do it yourself. It's so easy. I just did this one. So I got this one yesterday from O'Reilly Auto Parts. It cost me about 55 bucks. I temporarily installed it on my steering column. I will put a screw in this bracket to mount it permanently once I get all the wiring done and make sure everything works. So it's not going to look that crappy. It'll look better when it's done. This tachometer came with four wires. So there's a green wire that goes to the RPM source. In my case on my truck, it's going to go to the distributor. I got a black wire that goes to ground and I'm grounding that on my firewall. I have a red wire that is for a 12 volt switched power source. And then the white wire goes to the back of my, I haven't hooked it up yet, but it's supposed to go to the back of the switch that controls the dash panel lights and that will control the dimming of the light in the actual tachometer. I found a, a hole in my firewall so I ran the black and the green wire through the firewall right there and again that's where my red wire goes to the power source. I'll clean all this stuff up in a little bit here once I get everything working and I'll show you underneath the hood how I hooked it up to the distributor. So I came out of the firewall with black and green wire there. The black one I grounded to the chassis. And then this green wire, I just connected that to the left side of my HEI distributor. And so there's only two wires coming out of the distributor there. One of them is the power source for the distributor. And then the green one is specifically for a tachometer. So really easy to install. Literally took me about 10 minutes. All right, let's fire it up and see if I got this thing connected right. Look at that. It is working. There you go, folks. Easy install. Do it yourself.